Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Now, since last episode and the loss of Samantha Kerman on the attempt to rendezvous with the moon, I've had to go back to the drawing board with my ship a little bit. However, I'm satisfied now that the version of the ship I'm running should be perfect for going to the moon. So, let us have a look. Science data from the surface of the moon. Let us accept that. And I would plant a flag, but I don't actually have a ladder to get back up into the ship from the moon. However, we have the Spear 6, 50 parts in 11 stages. Piloted by Ludlong Kerman, who's also a pilot. He's our uh, replacement man in the camp for Samantha. The new version of the ship also features a button of advanced inline stabilizers as well as winglets to help us try and turn around. It's got a bit of flex to it, but that can't be helped. As I found with the last version of the spear, the problem was it struggled to turn into its orbit. So let's see how version 6 fares. IGNITION! Well, it definitely turns a fair bit better. Let's check our apoapsis now. Apoapsis of 76 kilometers, so we probably do want to turn the engine up a bit just so we can get ourselves a little higher about 100 kilometers will do it we are just approaching the highest point on our arc now we have to do the burn to circularize the orbit i sure hope we've got enough fuel on this thing you know and the good thing is as well because the uh, orbit is exactly parallel to um, the orbit of the moon we shouldn't have as many issues because I think the problem last time was it was such a strange and eccentric orbit that's why we really struggled and that's why we ended up getting thrown off course okay and now cut there we go let's do the time warp and we missed it. Okay. Well, let's keep on going until we get an encounter. Because we're bound to get one eventually, you know. Oh, we'll just smash into the moon at uh, full speed. We've made the same mistake, but... I'm being impatient here, that's a problem. Let's see if we can get some uh, readings from deep space. And then uh, it won't be a total waste of our time. But we've sort of got the right idea. Okay. Where's our retro uh, vector? And then we'll land somewhere in the middle of nowhere on Kerbin. There we go. Right then, let's bring us home. Wait, what? Okay, maybe not. Foolish of me to think that we would actually land... ...there. Hold on, we don't have an apoapsis though. That's the thing. Why? Why aren't we uh, landing? Okay, let's see again. Did we die? I think we died. Rest in peace, Ludlong. <laughs> we barely knew him. Let's go for Kertha Kerman. She probably uh, knows her stuff. The problem is, I'm not patient enough. That's why... Um, we keep dying. 
Right, let's burn prograde and see if we can get ourselves a, uh, an encounter. Yes, there we go. Up the time acceleration ever so slightly and see if we can close off our periapsis. Okay, so here we are approaching our periapsis on the, uh, the lunar encounter or mooner encounter. Right, half a tank. We should be able to do this in theory. Now let's go to the apoapsis and then drop the periapsis. Many apsis. Apses? That's facing in the forward velocity. What are we doing for electric charge? We're okay. Close that down ever so carefully. I don't want to get lost on the moon. It looks like we're going to be landing on it then. Okay then. Uh, it's a bit early, but let's pop the, the landing gear. Just to be on the safe side. And then we'll keep ourselves on the negative velocity vector. And let's bring ourselves in. Okay. For crying out loud, I clicked the thing, didn't I? Damn it. It was pretty much a case of easy does it, easy does it, full power, bang. Oops, oh well, never mind. Um, we know we can do it, it's just got to be more careful and not click the time accelerate to like a thousand when we're on our final approach. It's saying Ludlong's still available, is he? It says he is. I didn't click revert flight, did I? Maybe he's just... That much of a badass that he survived an explosion into the moon and then came back? Who knows? This game does have some very weird works to it. And I suppose the magical surviving Kerbal is one of them. Still, you know what they say in Silicon Valley? It's not a bug, it's a feature. And as long as I've got a Kerbal that can fly this thing, I am not going to complain. Plus, we don't have to pay his death insurance to his family. Let's give that a try then. No, we're gonna miss it. By miles. Oh no, not again. I thought we were gonna miss it, turns out we didn't miss it. It was spot on. <laughs> now we're getting hurled out of the system. Can I... Can I do something about it quick? Probably not. Come on. Now we should be able to come back to uh, Kerbin relatively safely now. Just as long as I don't goof up with the time accelerate again. Okay, let's just say that that was our practice run for going to the moon, which we'll have to try. Oops. Oops! I can't do this anymore. Never mind. We need to practice our space flight. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this uh, cavalcade of failures and I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy, have a good day, bye bye.